Hello and welcome to Cooking with Noosh. It's a cooking show with a chef named Noosh. He's got a simple ingredient to make good food. If you shop on a budget, he's the chef for you. He used to have a job in a famous place where he served famous people and they gave him praise. But he did some things that got some people sick. And he would often drop his pants and he would flash his dick Now he can't get a job so he breaks the law He robs and he steals, he does it all He drinks pretty heavily and he does cocaine But if you ask him why it's for his lower back pain we think he's homeless, but we're not too sure But we once caught him masturbating in a hearse On planet Earth, we pay him the lowest wage We hope that we'll finally make him turn the page On his shitty life, but we're not too sure Cause of that time we caught him masturbating in that hearse Despite all of that, we hope you like his style He cooks with passion every once in a a while now sit back and watch and maybe he'll cut himself it's pretty fucking funny when he cuts himself i'm running out of breath this is way too long we should get to the cooking and end this song if someone's hiring please pass that along we really 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 need chef news gone hello and welcome to cooking with news it's a cooking show with a chef named news he uses simple ingredients to make good food If you want to poison someone, he's the chef for you Hello everybody and welcome back to Cooking with News Today, we make something very, very good the Italian hoagie. Good Italian meats, crisp, cold vegetables, a world famous hoagie sandwich. First, the ingredients. The vessel, bread. Where is the bread? Ah, you can use any type of bread. I take that back. You cannot use any type of bread. You have to use a good quality bread. But this here is leftover bread from the 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 the, 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 the uh, uh, how you say um, uh, bread area. Look how beautiful. Mmm. Oh, that smells so good. It's gonna be nice and sweet on the outside. You can see it glisten a little bit. Firm to absorb all the sauce and the mayo and the meats and the onion and you know the ingredients. My other camera, this will get the nice, uh, uh, how you say, uh, not below, uh, top. To, we have awesome ingredients. We know about our Barilla roll that we love so much. So we are doing meats filled with sodium because those are the best. Your blood pressure will go sky high, but your taste buds will love it. So we've got some Angus corned beef. Mmm. Then we've got some wildflower honey ham. Mmm. This is Italian style salami. Now this is salami calabrese. Cal cal calabrese. Anyway, it's hot and spicy salami. It's different from the uh, uh, hard salami that we're going to use. So we've got two types of salami. We've got corned beef filled with sodium, and we've got our honey ham, which is, is, is ham. We are using provolone cheese. This is great uh, cheese. It's a mild sweet flavor, but has plenty of funkiness to it. Look at this. Mmm. You can smell it. Hard salami. We've got, uh, Salami calapresse, hot and spicy. We've got corned beef and we've got ham. We've got our bread, our vehicle. 
it's a little boat you have to have a crunch iceberg lettuce iceberg lettuce gets a bad rap do you know why it's the mexico of lettuces <laughs> also banana peppers banana pepper rings those also are going to provide acidity sandwiches are about balance yellow mustard man first up we have to cut the the bread don't you hate it when you go to the grocery store and you buy buns or they give you like a half a millimeter on the bottom and like 14 inches on the top? Why don't you cut it 50-50? Cut it 50-50. Right there. Ah, the globe. Careful not to cut yourself. Careful not to cut yourself. Hey, my accent's back. Yay. I'm noosh. You may ask yourself, well, why are you using mustard and mayonnaise? Well, mustard has that tanginess, that spiciness that you love with mustard. Mayonnaise gives you that creaminess, that soothing quality. So when you have both, that's the perfect balance for a sandwich. And that's what we want here on Cooking with Lou. Yeah. Mustard on the top. Whoop. This is sex on a bun. Orgasmic. I swear this never happens. <laughs> We're going to cover every inch of this bun. Oh yeah, shavnoosh like. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful bottom full of mustard. Our mayo. I got a little bit of mustard there because I forgot we're doing it on both sides. But that's okay. Okay, so now we've got our beautiful two halves. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now, the first layer has to be the nice, salty, Fatty salami. Hard. Hard salami. A layer of that on. Oh, yes. Got a nice layer on the hoagie. Salami calabresis. Mm. We've got the hard salami. Look at that. Hot and spicy salamis. Two salamis. Hello, salami. Hello, other salami. We put it just like that. Just like that. Oh, that's a hair. That's, that's, could be a pubic hair. Okay. Got our two layers of salami. We've got corned beef. Some beautiful corned beef. Corned beef. So we take that and we lay it down. Now, you don't want to put your meats flat. You want to ribbon them. You want it to put it down ribbon-like. Ribbon-like. Just like that. Sexy, sexy. Slices of this black forest ham. Again, ribbon-like. 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 And you're just going to layer two slices on the sandwich. <laughs> the dog hacked. All right. Oh, Cooper, you all right? You all right? You, did you eat a hairball? Comes the crunch of the iceberg lettuce. <clears throat> Some people like a lot of lettuce. That's up to you. That's up to you. Hey, my accent's back. I'm noosh. Layer it like that. Oh, look at that. And then lastly, banana peppers for that beautiful acidness. Whoops, dog won't like that. <laughs> I love banana peppers. You put them on pizza. I eat them by myself in my boxers, staring at the fridge at three in the morning. Look at this. <gasps> you could add more things like tomatoes. You could add whatever you want. This, just, just know that sandwiches are about creativity, but most importantly, they are about balance. You need good fat, you need good heat, you need good 
uh, acidity and you need a good crunch and you need a good softness with the bun. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. This is the second best part of making a sandwich. Putting on the top bun. Amazing gravy. Oh, 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 oh. The number one best part of a sandwich. Cutting it in half. You can see the inner workings of the sandwich. Oh, 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 oh. oh, look at that. You've got your bread. Mm, then you got your meats, and you got your cheese, and you got your lettuce, and your bread. When Jesus walks. Are you ready, kids? My accent's back. Yay, I'm new. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Is that not the most beautiful thing? This is orgasmic. Look, you got the bread. You can see the mayo. And if you go down the layers, there's your lettuce, your cheese. You've got your ham. And your two salamis and your mustard and your bread. <laughs> Let's do this. I don't think I've never been more excited than anything in my life. I'm new. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. You immediately get the saltiness from the salami and the corned beef the crunchiness of the of the of the other stuff but that ladies and gentlemen is how you cook an italian hoagie thank you everybody for tuning in to the episode one of cooking with noosh until next time stay out of trouble i'm out of breath for some reason cooking with noosh Cheers.